If you're a people watcher, it can't really get much funnier than this. It's brilliant. If you hadn't guessed, I'm in Italy and that's the Lini Tower of Pisa. Absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to try and do some street photography today and tomorrow. Uh, the reason I'm here is I'm actually down here to do a wedding in Florence, but I thought I'd extend the visit a couple of days, try and get a couple of days doing a bit of street photography um, in ma mainly Florence. Um, I'll see if I can get a couple of hours around here before I have to jump on the train and head back. But uh, yeah, I just had to, <laughs> I, I had to make the effort to come and see the Leaning Tower Pisa. I'm really, really loving seeing all these people posing in funny positions. It's brilliant, it's so funny. So hopefully get a few candid shots of that. Nothing serious, just uh, <laughs> yeah, seeing people trying to, do different things, be creative with the Leaning Tower Pisa. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good couple of days. So I'm going to head to Florence this evening, um, do some street photography tonight and all day tomorrow, and then I'm going to head down to Tuscany where the wedding is. Um, Saturday evening, I've lost track of days. So yeah, should be a good trip. Right, left the tower now, as much fun as that was. Gotta get out of there, just too touristy. But yeah, got some good snaps. Because everything was happening so fast, I had the X100F focus to infinity at F8, um, just using the hyperfocal distance, uh, making sure I wasn't too close to anything, I wanted to sharpen the foreground. And yeah, just running up, I pre preset the camera up, so I was shooting at F8 500 of a second, ISO 200, just metering for the highlights, just pushing the histogram as far to the right as possible. But yeah, just left the, uh, I've got the DJI action, what do they call it, the Osmo action camera, because my GoPro died. Um, so yeah, that's uh, just left that running. Hopefully got some good fun shots. We're gonna head off now to Florence, get into the hotel, get rid of all my baggage, and find something to eat. Frame of that girl sitting in that archway there, if I could just line get her square. 200 of a second now. I actually can't believe it. Got to the hotel, it was fantastic in Florence, absolutely roasting, gorgeous blue skies, chucked the bags in, came down to find a pub and uh, heavens of open, it's absolutely chucking it down, unbelievable, the Welsh weather's followed me. So luckily I've got an appointment with a dude called David, so let's go and find him and get out of this weather. <laughs> that is awesome, Statue of David, it's flipping big, <laughs> I knew it was big but when you see it, that is big. That is really, really awesome. Right, we're gonna have to get a good photograph here. This is this is pretty cool, actually. It's something I've always, always, always wanted to see. And uh, yeah, standing in the same room as that dude, it's quite humbling. Yeah, good. Let's get a shot.
while I got caught. I'd, I'd, I'd been standing by this wall, bright orange wall, waiting for somebody to walk past. Um, I think I got this lady going past. It balanced quite well because I had this lamppost on the left hand side and I liked the contrast that she was wearing black. But as I was waiting for somebody else to walk past the wall, uh, this lady in like a bright red jumpsuit walked past. And um, I thought she looked absolutely incredible because she had one of them Panama hats on. Um, is that what you call them, Panama hats? Yeah. So I tried to get some candid shots of her while she was sitting on these stairs waiting for a boyfriend to come out of this little museum. Um, but I couldn't get the lines, but I had to stand up to get the lines in the background square. I didn't really like the picture, so I tried taking one, stood up. Um, she looked straight at me and then obviously realised I was taking a picture, so I had to, ended up showing her the pictures. But she loves them, and they are really, really cool. So. Look at that. That is the famous Duomo in Florence. Massive cathedral. Huge, actually. And it's gorgeous, lovely detail. So, I think I'm central again. I've managed to find myself back in a popular, popular busy tourist area, which means I'm, I, must be, I must be heading the right way. Um, thankfully, now it's stopped raining as well, so I can actually get back to doing some photographs. Um, I've set my camera up again, so that's pu trying to push the histogram as far to the right as possible, because it's gone overcast. I'm at 1600 ISO. Um, 3 20th of a second at f8 pre-focused at infinity because i think most of the shots i tend to take are, m are further away from the camera than than five meters so i think infinity kind of works more reliable especially on a crop sensor anyway um yeah but it's been frustrating the last couple of hours of the rain and stuff but now it's stopped you can get back to taking some photographs again yeah i'm excited about this that reflection there focus it in f8 shutter at 640 which means we've got to lift the ISO up the ISO 800 pre-focus on that back wall there get the camera nice and low so I can see that reflection This is the famous Ponte Vecchio Bridge and apparently the only reason that is still standing one of the only bridges left in Florence still will be standing is because Hitler thought it was too pretty to blow up and it is awesome it is awesome the well, sun is setting behind it so I was trying to get a bit of a starburst I waited here for a couple of minutes because I'm really quite struggling it's, the light is gorgeous there's lots of pockets lots of detail um, and in London or somewhere like that, if you had that light and there was little pockets of detail, you'd, you'd be jumping around because you'd be able to get access to it. And there's so many sort of stalls around and uh, it seems really difficult to get isolate just them bits of light because there's like fencing everywhere and you know, scaffolding and stalls and artists and whatnot. It's really, really beautiful. And there's some really, really good opportunities, but yeah, it's, it's difficult. That's it, the lights are on. We're on the Ponte Vecchio Bridge and all the lights have come on now. So, that should give me thousands of opportunities to find some really, really nice um, ambient light street photography at night. But the problem is, I just can't seem to get away from the traffic. <laughs> Swarms of people. I've had dinner come out and it's still ran busy, but I'm, going, I'm trying to look for some sort of like alleyways or something like that, but there doesn't seem to be a break from it. It's so busy. <laughs> I can't escape it. Okay, I absolutely love Florence, but the street photography is really difficult. Um, this might actually be the best discovery yet, because it's so well lit everywhere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no worries. It's so well lit everywhere. But you don't get anything in the way of contrasty light because there's so many really beautiful lights everywhere. It's kind of like flat. That is possibly the best, the most contrasty sort of walkway. I'm not specifically looking for a walkway, I'm just looking for some, some contrasty light. And that typical when I'm talking to you. I stood here 15 minutes waiting for somebody to come past, and I <laughs> just did. 
Oh, it's a uh, uh, soul destroyer, I can't believe it. Yeah, so what I was gonna do, and that guy would have been perfect, was two shots here, because that lamp there, or that light up there, which is casting that shadow on that sign, which points down here, and also leaves a pocket of light on that pillar there, is probably about as contrasty light as I've actually seen in Florence, because it's because light is just everywhere. Uh, I really like that shape there. So what I was going to do is try and create a silhouette portrait. So having that shape come around there. Yeah, the other shot I wanted to get is using this tunnel, which is fantastic because it's got that light at the back, but it's also got this light at the front, which lights up this foreground far too much. Go ahead. Uh, cheers. Thanks. for a minute there. I uh, just seen a guy on his phone sat on this ledge. The good thing was he's wearing a white t-shirt because it was so dark but it's it just popped out. I love the lines, I love the, the position, the it, weird angle he was sat at but uh, yeah the last couple of hours just walking around really really not loving any of the nighttime shots I've got today. So frustrating because it's such a beautiful place you'd think it'd be so easy to get decent images here. But it really isn't. Wow, Florence was stunning. Really, really beautiful place. If you've not been, highly recommend it. It is awesome, very, very pretty. Um, as far as street photography goes though, I did find it to be a challenge, um, which surprised me because it's it's one of them places, it's so charismatic, so so beautiful. Um, it's more my, my style of street photography that uh, that, that made me struggle because it was so busy and there's so much going on um, for me to isolate a subject for me to find nice um, nice details and just keep it minimal keep it simple I really did struggle uh, especially at night <laughs> um, it's, it's still beautiful but what, what happens at night is it's so well lit I just could not find any harsh contrast at all it was just if you're just wandering around just aimlessly just looking at everything it's, it's beautiful it's so so nice but because the lighting is so high up uh, and it's it's uh, and there's so much of it by the time the light comes down it's so soft and it's just everywhere so yeah I did struggle a little bit in the in the night um, and I'd, I'd started to lose my confidence as well pretty pretty early on in the evening because I just felt that I'd failed um, I mean I thought how can you it's like going to uh, to, to Venice you've, you've seen these these pictures of Venice and you think when you go there it's going to be so easy uh, because it's so beautiful how could you possibly come come back without some amazing photographs so um, because nothing was jumping out at me and when I stopped for dinner no nothing on my camera was sort of <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think anything I mean looking back now I think I've got one or two that I like but um, yeah on the whole I was expecting some really really corking shots so <laughs> I don't know if I'm being hard on myself, too hard on myself perhaps I don't know but uh, yeah it was really really good fun though I did enjoy the challenge um, and I definitely recommend I'd love to go back love to go back spend a bit more time there but what I thought I'd do is go through a few of the shots or go through the shots that I got in the day just talk what I like what I don't like um, and see what went wrong and obviously by all means leave in the comments let me know which images you like and if there's any any improvements that you think um, I, I could have done but settings wise pretty much the whole day I was at f8 focus at infinity 500th of a second just keep trying to keep the, the histogram to the right as much as possible and then literally not worrying about any of the focusing at all which is really really nice just to wander around especially at the leaning tower pisa where everything was happening so fast i didn't have to worry about focusing all i needed to do was to make sure uh, that my foreground subject was no more no, no closer than say like a meter uh, to the camera and benefits of crop factors crop sensor cameras you've got the uh, the really really good uh, hyperfocal distance so it's a uh, yeah really good depth of field um, so yeah I've got some bit of fun as soon as I got there couldn't wait to see the leaning tower pizza fantastic place all I wanted to do was capture the people doing all the funny poses and everything like that just I didn't even want the leaning tower pizza in the background I just wanted to to have the people standing there looking funny <laughs> and it's a bit of a shame because when I got there the grass area had cut off uh, I don't know why 
Um, but I was hoping to see people doing all sorts of the legs in the air, <laughs> but the grass area was cut off. But I did get some um, some funny pictures either way um, uh, of people sort of just standing around. Uh, as I say, just trying to keep the look, make it obvious that the, the leaning tower pizza is, is is nowhere near them. <laughs> but it was good fun. I uh, love this shot. These three girls, um, really, really good fun. Especially black and white. I think it works really, really well. So yeah, cool. Um, yeah, people pulling some interesting poses and stuff. Dead good fun. If you've never been, honestly, it's worth it just to, just to go and see this. I did, I did one. So when I got to Florence, I really like this shot. I, I'd walked through a market and I uh, spied this couple having, having having a beer. Didn't see the dog on the leg straight away, but when I did, I thought, well, oh, that's going to be a great image. Like, so I need to get as close to, close to the people as possible. So I wasn't really looking at them. I was kind of looking around just to make sure they didn't think I was going to take their picture. Um, and when I took the picture and then zoomed in afterwards and realised the guy was staring straight at the camera. <laughs> I had no idea at the time that he was staring straight at me, giving me like a death stare. But uh, yeah, I do like the image, like the scene, like the fact they're chilling there with a the beer. Um, yeah, I really like that. Really like this picture as well. Uh, could have done a bit better, but um, what I don't like about it is that this uh, initially I like the frame around the girl sitting in the bottom right hand corner. Um, but looking at the image, I think it would have been better if I'd have gone and just got the girl sitting in the corner, perhaps put her in the top left of the of, of a square as opposed. So I don't like the other girl being in the shot there like that. I do like the square that she's sitting in, um, but yeah, perhaps I, I should have tried to get a bit closer, but chucking it down. Um, I was really, really pleased to be uh, in the um, the gallery of the Statue of David, and I knew I had to get a decent shot with a, a cool hat. There was loads of hats. People walk around with them Panama hats, so I knew I needed to get just wait by the by the statue. Just wait if somebody um, walks in front of me with with one of them hats, just to make a really strong foreground. Um, making sure that I was exposing for the highlights on, on the statue and I knew the tones were going to be really, really cool. So I do like this picture, especially in black and white, I think it looks really, really cool uh, with that hat in the foreground. Um, now this is a shot I thought I was going to like at the time when I took it, the ladies walking past this yellow wall, I thought it was going to be nice in black and white. I don't know, looking at it now, some, it feels a bit weak, I like the lines in, in the wall, um, yeah, I don't, I, at the time I thought I was going to like it, but looking back, it's, it's uh, perhaps too much negative space on the right, I don't know. Um, definitely the shot of the day for me with the, the lady with the, with the red jumpsuit, really, really love this, um, this whole character, the whole set. Um, it, as soon as I seen her, I, I knew I had to try and get the other side of the fence and try and get over there and uh, get some pictures of that and knowing that I was there. Um, now, the, the better shot was actually shooting straight on at the building with the arches but there was a couple of gypsy women just sitting behind her there so I couldn't face that way at all, a uh, bit of a shame but uh, yeah I do like the images I got, um, difficulty obviously kept um, was, was me trying to keep the, the vertical lines and the pillars straight um, and I didn't want that fencing in there which was in the background as well so I try and keep that out but I, th I think I did relatively well because she, she didn't know at this point I was taking the pictures, this is before I got caught so um, to get them pillars straight and the, the image looks relatively square, I quite like that. Really nice in red, in, in colour as well, the red really does jump out, it's a nice, in, nice image that is. Yeah, a bit further back, the hat really glows, it's nice, fantastic black and white so I'm really really pleased with them images. Okay, so this is an image that annoys me tremendously. <laughs> um, now, I don't know what I don't know why I didn't spend a bit longer there. Um, I really like the scene. I really I don't know why I didn't go further back and get more of the reflection in. Um, I'm sure one of the versions I've actually um, superimposed that sort of dry patch in the puddle there out. Um, but um, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I should have waited there a bit longer and got a better reflection. Um, I, from memory, I think it was there about 30 seconds, seeing this bike go past and grab the shot. I don't know why I didn't wait around a bit more. Um, that's pretty much coming to the end of the, the decent light, so I should have waited around for that. Um, considering the, the, the potential there, I didn't. the frame is not very good, it's not in the middle. Um, I should have come further back, as I said, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, would have been a good shot if I'd have put my mind to it a little bit better, I think. Um, a shot that when I, I was, as I say, I was struggling with to find some nice contrasty lights. So when I seen this, I thought, obviously, I need to include include the diagonal, and I needed somebody in the foreground. It's just such a quiet area, um, and it took ages. And I, I, I should have perhaps focused at three meters, not infinity. Um, I didn't move my focal point. I should have focused at three meters, and at f three point two, I probably 
probably should have gone to f5.6 because uh, I could have had that quite a lot darker um, just to get the depth of feel. But yeah, I don't think I had the focal point. I mean, the background's obviously tap sharp, but I, I, I'd rather have had her, uh, the subject, that shot at 200th of a second. So maybe she would have been a bit sharper, I don't know. But um, yeah, could have done better with that one as well. But I think it's with, with that sort of image, I think what's important is just that that you've tried, that you've that you've sort of tried something different. The image didn't work, but at least the idea was there. So next time I'll be able to I'll be able to learn from these mistakes hopefully and get a better version of that that shot. Um, a lot of the ge geometry in this more than anything else. I, I like the arrow pointing to where the guy's walking, but yeah, it's just too well lit. I I I, I don't know. Really nice in black and white. I like the shapes in the in the archway, um, but yeah, just too much light on it. I think for me, no real shadow, no real direction of light um, but yeah again the black and white did come out nice uh, this guy kind of saved the, the evening for me because I was feeling like I hadn't got any images I was feeling like I was properly failing I wasn't gonna get I wasn't this, this must have been a half past ten at night and I was thinking right I need to I need to get back to the hotel I was absolutely worn out um, but I had, didn't feel like I got anything and when I seen this guy on the wall it really did save me um, because I just really liked the composition. I really liked the, the way he was sitting. It's such a random place for him to be sat as well with the light uh, being quite nice and at that point not really having found any nice light. I was really relieved to see this shot. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I do I do, I do, do quite like that image. But, um, again, he buggered off as soon as he, as soon as he, he seen me taking his picture. He... he uh, he got fed up and, and left, so a bit of a shame on that one, but I, I'd like to have got a few more uh, candid shots of him. Um, so let me know in the comments if you've seen any clips in the video that you think I've perhaps missed any shots. Let me know the timestamp and looking back from, looking back at the video, normally I see a few shots that I missed, so let me know. Um, but if, you could, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram, because what we're doing is... Um, I'll be notifying uh, on my on my on my stories and on my feed of any sort of uh, photo walks that I do mainly around the UK, obviously. But obviously, I'll try and get to Europe as well and further afield one day. You never know. But if you follow me on Instagram, I'll let you know if there's any photo walks or any meetups or anything like that. It'd be really really good to get together. As a few people are asking me about photo walks and stuff like that, so follow me on Instagram and we'll keep in touch like that. Um, thanks to you guys as well who use the hashtag street underscore ga. I really really appreciate it. Some amazing photographs and there's a really really good community uh, a lot of people sort of interacting with each other it's flipping fantastic really really good to see so I really appreciate that apologies I've not been able to do many videos recently myself and my girlfriend welcomes baby Ellis into the world uh, a couple of months ago well, he's just come it's two months now it's just uh, it's just seven eight weeks now he is um, so uh, the last couple of weeks have been absolute chaos but yeah now that he's here we can hopefully get back to normal I'll be able to get on the camera more often but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments which was your favorite image and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching take care